Hi there, it's Marlena from A Pen and a Purpose, and today I'm going to show you how to measure things in Procreate. This is something I just learned yesterday in a Facebook group, and I'm super excited about it because I didn't think you could do this. So the first thing I'm going to have you do is to create a new canvas. We're going to hit the plus sign on the upper right hand corner. Create a new canvas. If you already have one, you don't have to do this, but we're going to make it in inches. And we're going to have it 8.5 by 11. So it's a letter size piece of paper. Click the title and you can change it to letter. Great. And now we have a letter size piece of paper. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my wrench icon canvas and I'm going to turn on my drawing guide and edit my drawing guide. Here's the trick right here. Right here where it says 104 pixels for the grid size. We're going to click on that, change it to inches and change it to one inch and select done. Select done again and you can see that we have a drawing guide with boxes that are one inch by one inch. So remember it was eight so there's eight across plus little quarters on the side by 11 so there's 10 plus half. I did draw in one of these to measure it on a little piece of paper and I printed it so the reason why I used a letter size piece of paper was to be able to test this and I'll show you that it is accurate if you can see that with my ruler. So the next thing that I did that I think was also very exciting is I took a PDF from Silhouette with the registration marks on it so that I could make a sheet of stickers. And I created a PDF, made the drawing guide where it's one inch squares, and then I made some stickers. Now for the purposes of this video, I'll just show you how this turned out. I've used some of the stickers because I was playing with it, but you can see this one here is in one square. And so if I measure that, we can see that it is one inch. This one, the pink one, is two inches. And you can see if I measure it, it's two inches. It's a little bit more because it's a little bit more on here as well. So this is really exciting because it helps you to be able to make stickers or other things right in Procreate and use them right from Procreate. So what I ended up doing with this is exporting it to my printer and I printed it with these registration marks on it. And then when I went to my silhouette, I actually sent just the colors to my silhouette. So if I turned off everything here, doo -doo -doo. so I just have these colors and if I change my background color, all right, so it'd be good if I'm on my background color. So you can see I have everything colored in white as well. What I did was take my colors and I actually alpha locked them, duplicate it, and then I turn them all black. So I'm gonna fill that layer. I'm just gonna go back to white on this cause it's kind of ugly. I colored the edges because I exported this as a PNG, but you could also just do it as a PDF. This is why I imported it in my silhouette to make my stickers. So again, the way to do this is to go into your wrench icon, drawing guide, edit drawing guide, and then this little button here, you can press on it and you can switch between millimeters, centimeters, inches, and pixels. I selected inches, selected one, and then each box is one inch. I could do centimeters, select one, and select done, and then these are all centimeters now. So whichever you prefer, you can do that with um, measuring now in Procreate. So that's super exciting. I hope you found this helpful. If you did, please be sure to subscribe like this video and let me know in the comments if there's anything you would like to learn how to do in Procreate, I'd be happy to make a video for you.